She was the femme fatale actress that starred alongside Alan Ladd. Working in Hollywood for only 30 years and managed to become one of the short-lived actresses on the silver screen. Only playing a strong female role on the silver screen and having troubles off the screen which made her lose her fame and fortune early. She started on a high and left Hollywood on a low. This is Veronica Lake and this is her basic biography. Early life. Veronica Lake was born on the 14th of November 1922 in New York, USA. She was born to parents whose roots came from Germany and had moved over here to the United States for a better life. Her father was an oil engineer and would die when she was a young age, and her mother would have to remarry in the 1930s. The young Veronica Lake would attend school in, the, in New York by her parents, then even going to Catholic schools to finish her formal education which she managed to do during later later in the 1930s late 1930s she even went to university to further her education she, she would move to all around the united states with her parents and work odd jobs in order to keep her her stepfather getting better and even bring in some money due to the sickness his, her stepfather had Whilst growing up, she found that she had a disability and was diagnosed with schizophrenia, as most as this has been, as she's been treated fairly by the society anyway, and even was able to get some support on her disability, being known as the, uh, known to have this dis uh, to have this disability. She managed to get jobs and even have time to work as an act actress by taking acting lessons in order to um, fuel her passion of being an actress. Acting career. Veronica Lake was able to move around the United States with her father and mother. She would get herself into acting by performing on various theatres and even playhouses around California. She was spotted by RKO Pictures before the 1940s and would work as an extra in various productions inside of Hollywood, even being a lead actress during this decade. She would star in her first major film in 1939, called The Sonority House, that would have her playing as a female student due to being straight out of university and being a young actress in, that would start out in Hollywood. Later on, she would continue to include um, herself as a, various, or as a young student uh, in different roles in the late 1930s and even carrying on in the 1940s as she was still young and was not able to make the leading act proper leading actress um, sleep due to uh, uh, during an early Hollywood her Hollywood career even not being able to be included as an A-class movie, uh, movie star that was popular around the world these roles would have not been easy and been an easy start for the young actress as she was able to work during the full swing of World War II and more people wanted to watch more action movies and war related movies or westerns. The rest of the 1940s would see the young Veronica Lake slowly changing her style of acting from a young childish actress into becoming a um, femme fatale kind of actress in the 1940s to the 1950s or just after World War II where she was married to get a big break later on that decade. Hollywood would offer a new role making her more darker than her childish roles even during the 1930s where she was still young. She met another talented actor who was new to the scene and even loved to work on film noir, even film noir genres. And he was named Alan Ladd, who would star with her in the new movie, This Gun for Hire, in 1942. Femme Fatale of Hollywood Alan Ladd was the person she would have to thank in order to become famous based on the film noir genre. As she was now a femme fatale actress, and not a child or teen actress anymore, she would star in multiple films with the legendary actor, who would have a short film career in both tele uh, film noirs and even we um, movie West uh, Western movies. 
The success of this gun for hire made her a new fem female lead for only f the film noir genre, and the rest would be a supporting or um, rather than leading actress role in the 1940s. The next film would be The Glass Key in the same year, and then spending the third time together both Alan Ladd and Veronica Lake in the movie Blue Dahlia in 1946 which was inspired by the real-life crime events or real-life crime of Black, D Black Dahlia. When then finally appearing with him in 1948 in the film Saigon, which would help expand her career as an actress, but only was famous for these films from the Waz and being remembered for it. She would, only, she would work on television based on acting in various theatre productions and even promoting her movies by performing on stage whilst being a Hollywood actress, sometimes working on um, the radio over the 1950s straight after her film noir roles. Personal life and final years. Veronica Lake was married at least three times in her life. John S. Deltley was her first husband from 1940 to 1943. Second husband was André de Tout from 1944 to 1952. And finally, husband, her last husband, Joseph McCarthy, from 1955 to 1959. She would have four children throughout her relationships, and her acting career was able to was only declining after the 1940s, due to her success and, spend, and her spending in an, time in and out of contracts that were relevant in Hollywood. This would have an effect on her mental health and health and only cameoing in films from, 1950, from the 1950s to the 1970s. She would spend her later years or later months uh, with other actors in Hollywood and having love interests with other famous people, even still act... Um, acting now on stage around the world. There would be financial problems and health issues that would have her acting and retiring retiring from acting based on what she uh, had done as an actress, and even spending more time with her family outside the acting scene. Her final film role was Flesh Feast in 1970, where she was able to play Dr. Frederick in the movie, and would be and this film will be released and would be filmed three years before her death. Death and legacy. Sadly, the femme fatale actress Veronica Lake passed away from hepatitis on the seventh of July, nineteen seventy-three, at the age of fifty. She would be remembered for her roles in the nineteen forties and not keeping her success ongoing. Her style would be made for especially for her on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and would have her honoured for her movies and contributions to Hollywood as an actress. She would be remembered for a femme fatale actress, or femme being a femme fatale, that would be inspiring many characters in films to television, as well as books that related to the film the noir genre, and nothing else. She would inspire Kim Basinger to play a femme fatale character in LA Confidential, and other actresses doing the same for modern noirs to have her films being archived and even shown around the world after her death. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm Suki Cookie and please check out my other videos and stay tuned for more content like this. Thank you.